Welcome to UK Penny where we're saving the earth one tip at a time. This week's video is going to be about waste and recycling. So waste and recycling is a very important topic. If we don't get on top of waste, it's just going to get everywhere. You know, the tips are going to be full, the environment's going to be devastated of all this toxic waste everywhere. It's not a good situation. So basically you want to try and reduce, reuse and recycle as much as possible. So this issue has been made popular on the TV show War and Waste, where the host sort of goes to different areas like schools and community groups and in the neighbourhood to try and educate them about waste and try and reduce it as much as possible. Hopefully in the future there's government legislation about products to make sure products do have recyclable packaging and no excess plastic everywhere in the packaging like it is at the moment. Some things are just terrible. You know, be triple coated in plastic. So from a household perspective in our local council, we have basically three bins for the rubbish. We have a waste bin for general rubbish, recycle bin for newspaper, aluminium cans, steel cans, recyclable plastic bottles and things like that. And the third one is the green waste bin. So that's for your garden waste, lawn clippings, plant clippings, anything that's compostable, including your scraps from meal scraps and veggie scraps from cooking, all that sort of thing, we're going to the green bin. So it's good having the three different systems. So the green waste gets mulched down and reused. Hopefully a lot of the recycling gets recycled. But recently countries like China aren't accepting any recycling waste. So it's good to try and reduce the recycling if you can. Try and get things in glass bottles or aluminium or steel cans which are more recyclable. Try and stay away from plastic bottles all the time. So refill your water bottles instead of buying a new water bottle every time. And things like that. And try and reduce the normal waste as well. So try not to buy things with too much packaging. And try and reuse things and repair things instead of just chucking something out if a tiny bit of it's broken, try and repair it or at least pull it apart and keep some of the parts to reuse later on. So in the household you basically got to split your rubbish up straight away so when you're throwing something out you just find the bin and pop it straight in. I find if you've got a system where you throw all your rubbish in one bin and then try and sort it out later it just doesn't work, it's too inconvenient. So let's see how the bins work here and how it's fairly easy to set up. So all your different waste is in individual bins so when it's time to put it outside in the big bin it's easy to do. So let's have a look at the green waste. So I've got a, a jug here for waste water. If you're emptying the iron of water and things like that pop it in there instead of down the sink and then that can go on plants later. So this is a organic spin which is provided by a council. So basically it says on the lid you can have any fruit or veg scraps and peels, meat, fish and bones, tea bags, coffee grounds, eggshells, dairy products, food leftovers and scraps, paper towels and tissues and flowers. So anything organic that's biodegradable. You can go in here. So I've got some veggie scraps there. So I've got newspaper in the bottom here. Put all the scraps in. Try and empty this daily into the big bin outside as we'll see later. And then I give it a quick rinse with a bit of water and then put a fresh bit of newspaper in the bottom so I don't have a plastic bag inside there which just creates too much waste. So that's the organic stuff. It's convenient on the bench here so when I'm cooking just throw all the 
veggie scraps in there straight away. This is the rest of the bins. So we've got ordinary waste goes in this one. I've got a piece of newspaper in the bottom of that too. And then I'll just rinse this tub out when it gets dirty so I don't have a plastic bag in there. And try and minimise the rubbish in there. That's the recycling one. So you can have glass, jars, plastic bottles, paper, all that sort of stuff goes in there. And these are the 10 cent return and earn bottles. So there's a, be a link at the end of this to the return and earn video. So it's a scheme where you pay 15 cents extra for each bottle and you get 10 cents back when you return them, but you've got to take them to an approved recycling place or machine. So that video will show you how that works. So here I can just split things up into general waste, recycling, and the 10 cent refund bottles. And it's quite easy to do. You just walk up and put the waste in the correct bin. So it's a fairly simple and effective system. You can have bins that have different compartments, but I've just chosen to have three separate bins. So that sort of works for me. All you've got to do is, when these start to get a bit full, is take them out to the big bins. So let's do that. So our council bins are colour coded, then ordinary waste is plain or having a red lid, mine's just plain. Recycling's yellow, green waste is green, which makes it quite easy. Recycling in there. Pop the general waste in here. green waste in here. So the ordinary waste I just put a bit of newspaper at the bottom. So if this gets too yucky I'll rinse out the bin liner. Organics one I'll just give it a little bit of a rinse, minimal water. Try not to waste too much water. Gets a bit of newspaper as well. So that's ready to go. And don't forget to wash your hands after dealing with the bins. So what happens if you've got too much waste done, a large amount of gardening, and you've got a lot of green waste, or you've got a lot of e-waste, or an old metal fridge or dryer to get rid of. Well, Bathurst has a useful waste management facility. So let's have a look at that. So the Bathurst facility is great here. You've got separate green waste, metal, e-waste, and also your normal general waste, but at least you can recycle out some of it. So all this garden green waste is going into this bin a load like this it's very important that you cover it with a tarp because it's an offence to drive around with all the load falling out of the trailer into the drive. Trailer's all emptied now into the green waste bay. So the green waste gets changed to mulch and Bathurst residents can have a trailer load for free for their gardens if they want. So Bathurst residents, as part of their rates, they get a year's worth of vouchers. So you've got 600 kilos of mixed rubbish and 600 kilos of green waste. So that will last the whole year from August to the following July. So it's a good idea and it gives you an incentive if you've got excess waste, you can take it to the recycling centre and then separate, separate out your green waste, your metal waste, e-waste and your general mixed rubbish. Instead of buying your fruit in um, plastic jars, which can be recycled, but as I say, plastic recycling isn't the answer, buy your, 
your fruit in steel cans and that way the steel is more recyclable. Steel, aluminium, glass are actually valuable and they're easier to recycle and more people want them in the recycling system. So buy a fruit in a steel can, pop it in a reusable glass jar or even a plastic jar if you're reusing it and that way you're not buying it in plastic containers all the time. There you go, much better. Don't forget to keep that in the fridge now that the can's been opened. So I hope all this information has been useful. So don't forget to reduce, recycle and reuse and try and minimise your waste and try and recycle as much of it as possible. See you next time.